So we are heading. The family's already in the car. We're heading back to <clears throat> Murfreesboro. Which we were there earlier today for a few other things, but my wife, every once in a while, every few months, has to drop off her ring to have it re anodized or something. I don't know, it's white gold or rhodium or something. So uh, they called and she wanted to go get it, so we're heading back out that way. I'm gonna stop by Best Buy to get um, a uh, new um, frame mount for the GoPro Hero 4. I ordered one from an Amazon store or from Amazon. It was cheaper than the Best Buy one, but the Best Buy one has a clasp at the top so you can leave it mounted and then just take it out. So I'm going to try to get that one. Messy garage. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. hello. Sawyer, say hello. Hello. Nothing. <laughs> so yeah, so we went to Murfreesboro, which I was telling you about. I didn't vlog uh, anything while we were there because on the way there, my wife found, I don't know if where you guys live, wherever you live, where, I'm wa where, where you're watching, um, or in other countries and stuff like that, but where we are and I think a lot of people I know in America and their areas have the same thing across the country like a buy sell and trade you know like a Craigslist but on Facebook like a you know a page for your local area sorry I'm coughing like crazy but um, my wife found a um, uh, a um, a pug that was in really bad shape that somebody had on there looking to get rid of it for 50 bucks which they said was a rehoming fee which I don't know whatever but they claim that they got it for a hundred bucks hopefully you guys can see me I, I don't know um, they claim they got it for a hundred bucks and <clears throat> the pictures they posted of it if I can get it I'll drop it in like right here somewhere um, but it's got some kind of skin allergy. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but it looks pretty pretty rough. It's a fawn pug. I used to have back in the day, and we have a black pug Howard now, um, a black pug Howard um, now. So we have a soft spot for pugs. And this guy said he didn't have the money to, you know, take care of it and if somebody could take it and 50 bucks. And to me, if 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 the animal's in trouble and you can't afford to get the medication to, to you know, help it out or whatever, uh, I think it's pretty low that you would charge $50 for somebody to take it and then take on that expense to try to get it healthy and comfortable again. So... <clears throat> So anyways, she found that and then messaged the guy and sort of was going back and forth with him because we've seen this guy post stuff on there before. I'm 99% sure this dude runs around getting animals and then sells them uh, for profit on this on this site, on this uh, Facebook page. But Because we've seen him post a lot of animals. Um, so anyways, and he's always got some sad excuse on why he can't keep them, but uh, you know, but he's always charging a rehoming fee. So anyways, we went to Murfreesboro. My wife got her wedding ring back from the jeweler. We went and got something to eat. And in the meantime, she's contacting vets that she knows in the area. And she ended up somehow got a hold of somebody <clears throat> who knew a, a, a pug rescue place in West Tennessee, which is, he's in, I think it's in Jackson, it's called Pug, hmm, can't remember right now, but it's like, I don't know, it's probably three hours away from us, at least two and a half hours, <clears throat> and the guy's like, look, if you get this dog, I'll take it, and I'll take care of all the expenses, and, and then we looked at his Facebook page, and he's got a good track record, and we're like, okay, so we contacted the people, and um, long story short, I'm going to the ATM now to get some money to pick up this pug from this, well, this guy, dirtbag, this guy, <clears throat> and, um, and then 
the guy from West Tennessee, it's nine o'clock our time right now. He said, he talked to my, or, you know, was texting my wife and he's like, look, we're gonna head that way now. And because we were just gonna, I was gonna pick up the dog and take it back to Murfreesboro where I've been twice today, which is like an hour from my house, um, to a, a vet hospital that they deal with. But I guess the guy's just gonna come out and meet me somewhere, you know, by my house or something. Um, and, or come to the house, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I'll come and I'll go and meet him. You know, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, but, uh, so he's gonna get it tonight and hopefully get it some medical attention tonight or early tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, it's it's been a weird evening. <laughs> but we're, my wife and I are pretty much the same. We're pretty soft when it comes to animals. Our dog, Leia, we found, well not found, we. We're at a like a local festival and they had a um it's not like humane well there's humane society down here but it's another place like a rescue place and they had her there and uh she like sort of jumped up on me and was hugging on me you know like a dog will sort of do and then that was it so we we adopted her on the spot <coughs> and we um we do that quite often but i think uh the best thing that we can start doing because I mean, we have a, a large home and we have a, we have, you know, a way to take care of animals, but we just don't have the real funding that you need to rescue animals. So I think um, this is gonna spark us to sort of, if we look on these web pages or these Facebook pages and stuff like that, that we'll, we may just start finding these animals and seeing if we can rehome them. Um, even if it's with a, like a no kill shelter or something like that, get them somewhere to where they're, getting the medical attention they need so uh yeah so anyways so now i'm heading to an atm and then i'm gonna go meet this guy um and i will uh i'll check in either right before i get the dog or right after um so i'll be back so <clears throat> i'm on my way i just got back from the or just left the at the bank so on my way to go meet this guy my wife just texted me said he's already there but so here's this dude here so i'll be back so we have her she's shaking she's bad her skin is really really bad like this is not oh my goodness it is oh i swear to god if i would have seen how bad her skin was when this dude handed me to her I probably would have punched him in his head because that is really 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 bad I mean it's like there's bumps and this is more than just I thought it was <sighs> I thought it was just a <clears throat> like our dog gets uh, the dog that we uh, rescued Leia gets itchy um, from being outside and uh, this is a whole nother level so so we're uh, waiting to hear back from the guy who's coming to get her um, and I'm probably gonna come meet him somewhere but this is her in better light and you can see I don't know how well that comes out but top of her head <clears throat> inside her ears all over was just nasty and she is so sweet um, she's been getting she's vomited um, twice um, in the garage we're keeping her in here just for a little while because uh, of the other dogs and stuff <coughs> and kids so just waiting to hear back from this guy and then we'll uh, hopefully I'll roll out we're thinking about giving her an oatmeal bath right now um, just to maybe sort of calm her um, irritation. Uh, so, just trying to do whatever we can do. Ugh, it's so bad. I don't think the camera really comes through and does it justice, but her head is tore up. So, I'll check back in a little while. So we're on our way back to Murfreesboro and you can see 
my wife gave her the name Grace. So Gracie is chilling. Uh, the, we gave her a <clears throat> gave her an oatmeal bath, trying to calm her skin rash down. Um, but they're gonna be these this rescue place. Um, I couldn't remember the name before. It's called. Um, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Um, I can't remember now again. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll remember at some point and I'll say it. But uh, <coughs> So anyways, we're, we're, I'm taking her out there. Uh, the guy's meeting me at uh, Sam's Club in the parking lot. And uh, she is very she's been really warm um, so hopefully the oatmeal bath calmed her down she's been sleeping on my wife's lap for the last I don't know a couple hours or about an hour and uh, it's 11 o'clock right now so she's definitely wore out she feels really warm so hopefully they said they're gonna get her medical attention right away um, yeah, so, uh, just a horrible, I don't know, I don't know how you could have an animal in that bad of shape <coughs> and never take it to a, a vet, because the stuff that this guy gave me is, you know, you buy it at PetSmart or the pet store for $10, and it's just some, you know, I don't know, it's just not what you do when an animal's that bad. Even if you can't afford, you just take it to a vet and drop it off or tell them or something. There's no, nobody would turn away an animal in this bad of shape. So anyways, but, uh, so the towel she's in is a dry towel, obviously not the one from her bath. And then the blanket <laughs> is Miles' favorite blanket. It's like super soft. So he was still up and then he saw that she was there and came out and we explained to him that she was sick and we're not keeping her. And, uh, he was worried that she was going to go to heaven, so we explained that, you know, that's not what's going to happen. They're going to get her fixed and she'll be all right. Um, but he put his favorite blanket on her and wanted to make sure that she was warm. So uh, she was really warm, so Shannon just left her wrapped up and then I'll bring that stuff home. And... So I just looked at my, I'm hoping some of this footage actually came out now that I'm, I looked at the, um, uh, my GoPro app. Uh, when I was stopped a little bit ago and with the lighting that I had so I'm hoping that this footage actually has been coming out um, just popped up I don't know if you guys can even see from the frame I don't really want to move the, the camera or anything but she's up a little bit she looks exhausted um, we, we sent some pictures I don't know if I said that before we sent some pictures to the, the pug rescue place um, Pug, Pug Plantation is the name of the rescue place. And I'm going to leave a link to them down below uh, because, I mean, think about this. We found this. We found this. We found her on, I was. I meant this, the post. We found the post at, I don't know, 6, 630. My wife made a few contacts. We contacted this guy who runs uh, Pug Plantation. And literally by, what was it, 8.30 or 9? It was, it made, no, it was 7.30 when he said, do whatever you can do to get the dog and we'll take care of it. We'll come to your house and get it. We're, you know, tonight we'll do it. Because we, we told him, we're like, well, we'll get it tomorrow, you know, because we were like, it's late and all this. And then, you know what, it was just like, no, they, they, you know, we need to get him get her right away and because he said she needs medical attention we don't want to wait so I mean and then this guy sent one of his people to drive you know three hours to come meet us um, I mean it's, it's a great just from what we can tell so far it seems to be a fantastic and great organization so I'm gonna leave their Facebook link down below um, also I believe they have a PayPal <laughs> that I'm going to be uh, donating some money myself. So if you guys feel the need or whatever, this really wasn't what this video was going to be about. 
Uh, I was doing some vlogging because we were shopping today and then I just decided to get rid of it because this is, I mean, this, this is important to me. Um, so if you guys feel, you know, the need, at least just check them out. Check out their Facebook page. Um, they, they, they get old pugs, um, which really pulls at my heartstrings because my, my pug Howard, we've had him, um, it's coming up on six years now and his chin's getting gray and he's getting some gray on his chest and it's just, I mean, he sleeps on my pillow next to me. I mean, he's just... It's just, it's going to be rough when he gets older, and this place, they take, you know, older pugs and, and disabled pugs and, and blind, I mean, just, I don't know, I, I think you have to have a huge heart to, um, to even do or think to do some type of rescue operation like that. I think they have 10 acres uh, dedicated to the rescue of pugs, and I'm just, you know, to me, it's just, it's an amazing person. It's a godsend that, you know, we could see something like that, make a few texts, you know, I almost like calls, but really we, we text a few people, a few Facebook inquiries, and then boom. I mean, within a couple hours, this guy was like, just let me know when you get the dog and we're going to come get it. So, I mean, it's been about five hours since we've seen everything going, you know, the first um, and, and trust me, there's more drama than I think I really explained. Like the dude, my wife was like, some people are giving him crap um, because he posted pictures. And people were like, why don't you get the, the dog to a vet, you know? But, and then my wife said something, the next thing he took the post down. And luckily my wife had saved it. And it, it took a little bit to, to actually get, a, get in contact with this guy that had the dog. So, I don't know. I, I'm feeling very fortunate that... Well, we're in a position to where you know we could help out a little bit like the guy want like I said the guy wanted 50 bucks to get the dog for a rehoming fee which still drives me nuts but um, and then this place like I'm saying they're so good the guy even said he's like because I talked to him about meeting him and he's like well did you have to pay to get the dog and I'm like yeah he's like well how much was it because we want to reimburse you and I'm like no <laughs> no I mean they got to be spending more than $50 driving you know to where they're driving and, and 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 luckily for me like i said i'm in a position where you know i would rather spend fifty dollars to make sure this dog has a good um a good place to stay and is going to get the, the the medical care that it needs and then we'll keep in contact with them and then uh you know quite honestly if i had the means right now um she would have just stayed with us and we would have taken her to our vet and tried to get her all fixed up but um you know i can't ugh. as much as i wish i could i can't take every you know sad case so um like i said before we, we sort of realized that we're just gonna have to um do what we can how we can do it like things like this and then be happy with that so well, I just met the gentleman from Pug, the Pug Plantation. Super nice guy. Super, super nice guy. Um, I mean, drove out, like I said, all this way. Just amazes me. So, he said it looks... He said he couldn't really remember the name, but it looks like they had another Pug with the same type of skin condition. Um, so, they're going to get it to the vet, and then... Um, <laughs> they're actually going to let us know when she's healthy enough and re you know, all done and, um, and ready to be adopted. They're going to let us know when that is. So, um, I don't know if you can see me then. I didn't have the light on, but they're going to let us know when she's ready for adoption. And when that is, um, we will be first, we will have the first opportunity to adopt her. So that'll be awesome. Um, we'll see when that time comes if we're, uh, if we, <laughs> if we're going to adopt, I have a feeling we are, but we'll see. Um, so I'll keep you guys up to date, up to date on that. Um, again, you can, you can check out the Facebook page and you'll see her, uh, on there. He said they'll be, they'll be, uh, updating Facebook showing, you know, her vet visits and pretty much everything. So it should be pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited to see that. So. Like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on that, and I'll probably maybe share some of the stuff on um, 
uh, on my Twitter feed and stuff like that. So, but uh, so I am going to start driving back, and then uh, if I think of anything to share with you guys, I shall. But uh, pretty much it's going to be a, a ride back home. So I'm going to turn on some Howard Stern because I am weeks behind, and then uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later.